<sighs> what is up, lads? Chaos and Corral here, back playing uh, Death Mark. In the last episode, we finished up the cannon soldier in the underground shelter. After he grabbing a female head, attaching it to female butt, it looked like the body on a dissecting table. Following your advice from a voice I was talking to was in the right ear, and discovering a chest full of talismans, but nothing but with nothing but a pillow underneath so yeah and banjo came running back at us since he's here again he's telling me he told me some revelations seeing that how we wanted to know about i think the kudra family more than the cannon soldier and now i think he wants to take us to his shrine so let's go there or mansion shrine Hmm. Nope, dimension's out the way. Banshee clambers to the backseat of the car. So he sent Phil's in close space. Ew. Ah, I can finally catch my breath. <clears throat> now I'm the driver. Take us to the forest by H Castle. Interesting. <clears throat> or some good revelations revealed to us in the uh, later half of the last episode. Drive down familiar road. All the lights strangely green? Green. Hmm. Reach our destination without me having to slow down the car once. Engine chugs along. I feel the wheels of fate turning like those of the car I'm riding in. Interesting. Ten days ago, I promised. In exchange for you buying me an extra order of almond jelly? If you did, forget everything. And take it to a shrine. Hmm. Sounds like I prepared for everything. If I was that careful, why didn't I leave myself a clue? I prepared if I was just going to forget. The curse progressed faster than expected, so there wasn't any time. Or did something get rid of someone get rid of it? Hmm. If I had business at each shrine, why didn't I go there while I had my memories? Something about time. Waiting for her some magic summer clean to clear away impurity. Deja vu. My so old self echoes in my head. I speak the words out loud slowly as realization dawns. <clears throat> it's a summer purification rites. Right? Hmm. Where hell that shrines to exercise evil. It's on the last day of June and you have to pass through woven. You to cleanse yourself. I was trying to use the ritual to exercise the impurity. Ah, gotcha. And luckily, today is the first of July, so the rites are whatever are done. Should be no problem now. Exercise the impurity, huh? What kind of impurity was I trying to cleanse? I want to learn to I understand. Pre previous self is like a complete stranger to me. But they held it at H shrine? You know there's still some cursed shit down there. Well, even without Sh Shimio and Hanayomi in the picture, this is pretty, still a pretty creepy place. It's our third time in the forest. The creepy arch and the thick trees look the same. I mean, as always, you know where H shrine is, right? Lead the way. You've never been there? First I've heard it was 10 days ago. Hmm, alright. Banshee and I pushed through the vegetation to make our way through the beast trail. We passed through the stone toady gate. Aha, uh -huh, here we are again. And we're here. This is music. Hmm. A few headless Buddha statues are left shining the are left shining the light at the flashlight. Some of the statues using the project were stolen from here? Yeah, that's right. Is it really true the statues are connected to the mark somehow? Eh, who knows. If they were made from the same shield that was in the Kudra Mansion, maybe. I consider the possibility without the mark was caused by a divine wrath. 
but ten days ago. Hmm? You said what happened 50 years ago wasn't because of that project. It was because of her. Oh, that's what Blancher told me. Yes, of course, I've been following this whole time. Then, at some point, I had to have been fed some huge lie. Hmm. But what could it be? It's fucking Mary, isn't it? I started to run through me at the thought. It feels like I'm looking into the depths of hell. I said ten days ago that... That altar holds something important. Something about needing to keep it here to exercise the impurity? Hmm. He approaches the small altar and puts his hand on the sliding door. Hmm? What's going on here? Things empty. Yeah, we tracked earlier, dude. Don't ask me. I was already gone when I was here earlier. Hmm. Darn weird. <clears throat> you said there was a cloth pouch. What was inside? A small fist-sized statue. An Enji Butsu or something. It was the Go Shintai for the shrine. The Kujo had used he's in the shelter just up the mess 50 years ago. And again, it's the Kujo family. We must have strong ties to the mark. Well, that's all I, about all I can do for you. Unless it was enough to pay off the dessert. We should head back, son. Yeah, okay. I'm still unsure about what my old self was thinking, but... It's kind of whatever plan I had didn't work. What did I... What did I do in the Jibutsu, though? Hmm. On the way back, I feel we're looking to go. I keep turning to look toward the shrine. What should I do? Banjo hurries me on to the forest entrance. Well, this is where we part ways. This is... Okay. Probably just his accent. You're not going to ride back with me? I'm going to be honest with you, I got a big car stuck on the way here. Platforms are fine, but the curves and hills did me in. I just got a nice meal, and I hate to sew it back up, so I'll walk back. But it's pretty far from here. Give her such wimps from these days. When I was young, I used to walk across the Himalayas all the time. This ain't nothing. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, dude. His loud, or his loud, his laugh is loud enough for the whole forest to hear. He waves and leaves me alone. Once he's out of sight, I get into the car. Hmm. Ah. Uh, are we heading back? Or heading to the mansion again? You? So we get out the parking lot? Yeah, to the mansion. Let's count street lights passing by. I'll go over everything Banshee told me. to go into shelter. The cannon soldier went berserk, but it wasn't because of the army's experiments. It was her. The army wasn't able to stand up against to the threat of her and the soldier. But the Kudra family used to NG Butsu sell everything. However, she still exists or she still exists in this time period. She was the one who gave me my mark. I was planning on using a mid Jibutsu like they did before. I left it at any train so it could be cleansed with its impurity. But somewhere along the line it went missing. The past me probably couldn't have predicted that would happen. Hmm. I was back in a mission. As our drive comes to an end, focus on what the most important detail is. That's right. Who she is. There can only be one answer, dude. I have a hunch about her identity, but I can't be sure yet. After there can be two, either Mary or that black man. But I mean, what's Mary did? And that definitely proves that she was there. Two years ago, she made the cannon so that he got the shots. Even though the family had sealed him. 
discovered about her doing it. The sacred objects were the project of which she was one, or returned to the Hoojers. In the back, what the hell, dude? Mama, yeah, it def it's I definitely her. Done. We do meet again. Her voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words is hitting an intense lust for blood. I'm telling you, the couch, the cushion, too similar. Came back to life rather quickly. It gave me nearly a whole day. More than enough time. I admit that rabbit's attack surprised me, but an ex unexpected events can themselves be rather enjoyable. When I brought myself, brought Mary to each shrine, we caught sight of the rabbit there. I might suspect, suspect Mary's true nature. That rabbit, its great love for you pushed it to recklessness. Love. What was that rabbit really? Determine that for yourself. Who are you? That and the answer will come. Okay. No, it is impossible as so long as you bear the mark I give you. Mary gives me the Mary gave me the mark, of course. Why didn't why didn't she? I had a hunch, but hearing it from her lips fills me with dread. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the death of the spirit before killing them. I believe I explained that. It isn't the spirit's utmost desire and joy. I think you explained that when I in the first episode. Did you add your cooperation to it in a its achieving that? Cooperate? That's ridiculous. Now, have you not realized yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bears directly to the spirits, did you not? True. Oops, this picture again. They fear the spirit's existence, tremble in the face of death, and savor the taste of that fear and despair. Highly delicioso. You had all of us help out, just to terrify the mark bearers even more? Clearly, I could have waited for the curses to complete if I only wanted the de them dead. That is not only the lie. That is not the only lie. Mark bears must stay in small groups, not contact outsiders. All my instructions were tr to drive you into a state of emergency. It's true. And not once do you doubt me. But she's telling me all this. Because she wants me terrified with how hopeless the situation I find myself in is. I'm frozen in place and I know my face must be as pale as death. She must be loving us. Don't tell me you created all those spirits. Just to accomplish that? Indeed. Only like Christy believed the Divine Wrath was causing the mark. I had never been more amused. Her foolishness was so delightful. I just had to come along with you. Sick bitch. Of course. Heh. <laughs> of 
How could a pile of broken statues possibly do anything? I could be imagining it, but I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. Hesitated. Fifty years years ago, I was sealed away by the head of the Kujo family. I woke up five years ago. At the time, I was still unable to speak and communicate. But it seems my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died of fortunate deaths on cursed land became monstrous spirits. Oh yeah, monstrous spirits we faced popped up five years ago, I think. <coughs> or died five years ago. Elementary abuse. Wait, eight elementary abuse, honeybee mass suicide, psycho so assault, and suicide. It all happened five years ago. I finally gained my full power a little over a month ago. Then the Buddha statue connected to me 50 years ago and began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my power. That must be the cannon soldier in Tsukawa. Tsukawa believed it was divine. It was divine oracle from the soldier, when it really had been Mary. She, she does the great Asura said and transformed herself into Mizu. Also, is the great Asura the king of soldier? Huh. That's what it seems like. With my strength return again bestowed my power on spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The mark, of course. <coughs> I know you've been toying with us, but well, was there really a need to make us be connected with you in some way? Hmm, yes. But being in true right contact with you, I could taste your fear. Even now? Are you scared of me, Lord Cassie? Hmm. Bruh. So, you weren't terrified to expect that extent that it steals your speech. Okay, that's cool. I guess that's clever. Ah, uh, the first line face cracks. Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I've waited eagerly for this day. Okay, this is getting interesting. Over the past 10 days, I've tasted your fear to do the mark. Thick and syrupy. As sweet as honey. Is that how syrupy spells like? Each savor morsel made me want to smash it to pieces. But I waited. I am not so foolish to, as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. Oh. Oh no. I cannot take it anymore. Like crushing a ripe fruit and sipping its juices. I want to break you and save your sweet fear. Uh, no. <clears throat> okay, fuck look into the eyes. Fuck that. Oh shit. Oh, sunrise already. <clears throat> My thoughts blur together suddenly. What happens to a mark bear right before dawn? I've seen it many times. Is that what's happening to me now? Castle, wait for me. Oh, k k kill, k kill. Oh, she's still over the sofa. Let's make the rabbit's fable be mine too. I have to run away. Check within the red in my room. The red in your room. Where Cyrus? The one where Sai was killed in? That's right, that voice. Oh, it hasn't been here with... ever since... Fuck, fourth episode, fourth chapter? What does my room mean? Focus. What does that voice belong to? Soka. She said... It was someone who loved me. Closer. Where should I run? You wanna run or you just wanna gain at her? Okay. Size room. It has to be it. That's where the blood stain is, right? Go upstairs and find the size room. Yes.
Alright. Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. The voice I check within the right in my room. Is something there? Oh, where should I look? Uh, wait, the blood's on the floor. So, floor? Hmm. The blood stain's still on the floor. It's obviously dry by this point in time. There might be something lying on top of it? I can't be sure as it's too dark. Nothing was near the last time I was here. Picking it up, I discovered it's a small pouch. It's eyes a hard, thin object. A pouch is missing from the shrine. I would give him really to see it better. Oh, whoa. Small Buddha statue. Can't be. Is this the Nenji Butsu? It's also beheaded. It has blood and I get an ominous feeling from it. Impurity. It hasn't been exercised yet. Hmm? And instinctively know the instant I see it. My mind is suddenly flooded with all my memories of the Nenji Butsu. One after the other. Three years ago, the head of the Kudra family used this to steal Mary's power. He put the Nenju Nenji Butsu inside her to, to seal her. Then, a month ago, someone took it out. That person... Was me? Wait, why? Oh. Because that Mary regained her powers? It was put in the shrine. Oh, so to purify it. But she got her powers from away. The Nenji Butsu in my hand looks exactly as it did back then. Full of impurity. Impurity that was built up from sealing Mary's power for 50 years. The cleanse of I left the Ninja Boots out there for uncontaminated un un each time. It would take time to exercise all the impurity. It's right July. The summer purification rite is over. So why is it still impure? The object of rabbit had in its mouth. Who have been carrying the pouch then, and it's not the master key. Then the Nenji Butsu was taken away from the eighth shrine before the beginning of July. Then the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared that she wouldn't find it. So I had no choice but to steal it away. It was Mary trying to kill Bad Bunny? Or was the bunny trying to kill Mary? Oh no. Here, room is open. Mary must be looking for me. But she can sense the presence of mark bears. What's going on? Wait, is it possible that size blood is protecting me? Creek on me for you. Oh, she's there, isn't she? I raise my head to the staircase rising into the darkness before me. Oh no. Oh no. Dark trigger stands in the way. Ha <laughs> ha 
We did it. Mary's gone. Mary shatters into dust. Did I really do it? I hesitantly look down at my right arm. Hey, look at that. It's gone. Hell yeah, dude. I did it? I finally did it. You fucking did it, dude. I say I love to convince myself. The victor at the expense of Saya's life. I can't claim it's completely over, but there's no harm being relief for now. Come on, cheer up, dude. Fucking blessed. The fog clouding my head clears away. My memory slowly returns me. I look around the dimly lit halls again. I notice mention well. Because I'm a clock on the second floor begins chiming wildly like it did what ten days ago. Up, oh, okay. Stop, of course. As if it had a wheel on its own. That's right. This grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Kudra family crafted it. That one chisel may be... The one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right. Inside this clock. Open the door and stuck my hand inside. My fingers brush something hard. It's a voice recorder. Oh. Press the play button. Is this like a fail safe from one of the members? Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk over this. I will like to hear some voice acting. It's a man's voice. A voice I, all, I know all too well. It's my voice. Oh, never mind. There's no voice acting. I decide to leave this record behind in case something what should happen. My doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banking on her overlooking a piece of technology. So listen, I start to remember recording this. I've done it right before I received a mark from Mary. <coughs> Now, where should I begin? It started five years ago. Two years after I became Kudra family head. My sister, Sai and I, found a doll in the wood box while it's running around. The moment I broke the seal, I saw her. I could sense something sinister. The 
it took a little while longer to fully understand what she truly is. If only there had been records, a great grandfather who sealed her, I didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants were told about the doll. <clears throat> I managed to learn the doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me, Banshee. I went overseas to try to get more info on the doll. I got into an accident while away and was presumed missing. So I became a new family head. I wasn't able to contact her until after she had inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting. So I explained everything and had her keep on the facade that I was missing. Public records still stated that someone in Cujo was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license or otherwise. I'm off topic, so. I only just returned to the country last week. Other psychics abroad all agreed it would have been bad to leave the doll be. An energy boots who inside the doll still suppressed its cursed power, but I realized that, that it was almost at its limit. If I let it alone, it would crumble. Then it'd be impossible to suppress the curse power of the doll. That was the worst case scenario. But what, would it, was it, what was to be done? The answer I came up with was to remove the Andrew Boots from the doll temporarily. The impurity would be cleansed after a month stored in the pure area. And then I'll place it back in the doll. But to see the doll's power would be sealed for a few more decades. I could just have another holy item, holy item. Uh, but the problem is that one month. I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when adults are sealed. I'll do what I can to prevent disasters. My power can't compare to the Ninja Butsu. I can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like a tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble, disassemble the doll and remove the ninja boots. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evil is avoided. Hope this record is needed. But if the one listening to this has a loved one who has fallen victim to the curse, then I'm very sorry. Recording ends there. Damn it. I clench my fists so hard my nails sting into my palms. Yes, the voice on my table is mine, but I'm furious with it. I don't know that person at all. Marcus has claimed so many victims over the past month. I even lost my little sister, Saya. Is she just another inevitable, inevitable big victim that the voice spoke of? I... Can't forgive him or it had to be done? Uh, honestly, it was a necessary evil. It had to be done. I'm Corella Kassin, but I'm also Masamune Kujo. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to that cursed doll. that the can of soldier ends. End of chapter 5, trophy obtained. <clears throat> Two months have passed. An occasional cool breeze signals that summer's almost over. I spend my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best as I can. Put side to rest by burying the rabbit and caught Contacting the surviving bear mark bearers. What's that? Putting the Buddhist statues in the places of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to Mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. Plus, there was no way Christy would keep quiet about the statues. So, with her guidance, and Yosuka and Diamond Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter and returned them to H. By now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned. At least the 
dangers has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune Kujo is wrong, but at times, waves of powerlessness and despondency overwhelm me. I think of the victims of the mark, and of Sai in particular, my chest hurts. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. Again. <clears throat> But the memories are regained. I became the Kuja family ahead seven years ago. I will admit it was a bit of a recluse. I loved the public appearances to Saya, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only photos of me are from small local newspapers. I didn't care if you were married by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. In one country, I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year? Coma? In the worst, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. I don't know if that was Maryland but terrible luck, or if Mary's curse has something to do with it. When I, was, when I was able finally... Oh shit. When I was finally able to contact home, so I had already, already become the new head. The worst was the, as the tape said. I had no idea that Mary's power was far greater than I had imagined. All my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled faster than I thought. <clears throat> yeah. Her. How did she come to be in the first place? One theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. Another says the spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in a doll. In the end, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know of that each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn, the turn of the 20th century, she came to be owned by the head of the Cujos. He either didn't know the curse, or simply didn't believe it. Disaster began befalling the family. Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits, then a tragedy and disruptor happened. The seeding grudges of the experiment's victims and the statues may have triggered her awakening. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains she altered many people's fates. Mine and the Mark Bears included. Speaking of, an update on the surviving Mark Bears. <coughs> ah, Moe Watanabe became a part time writer of her favorite magazine, Eats Art. Oop Arts Mate Monthly. She sometimes comes to me to interview me about spirits and ghosts. Su Sukasa, who she is studying every day for the middle school exams next year, bragged in his letter to me about how well he did the national mock tests. Bro, it's just a mock. Ah, Mashida. Tom Mashida brought me a drink, like he promised. Seems he's thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if he wanted to join him. Just in case. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Oh. Joe, that's his name. Nagashima is picking fights, riding his bike, and doing whatever he wants, as usual. But recently, off the blue, I heard he's joining the neighborhood's bad baseball team. I started writing an essay exposing all of the past affairs. She's trying to get back into the industry. Okay, that was short and sweet. Suzu Mori Morimiya. I think she has the most spiritual power out of and all the characters. She was able to see her father. Maybe she started asking me for advice about how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if I had to help at all, but she says they sometimes have meals together now. Ida Nakamatsu has gone back to surfing the PBS every day as usual. What's new? He's been stopping by the city employment center. I guess he wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Susan. Ah, it's best of luck to him. <coughs> the day doesn't go by that I don't see my Kashiwagi and Tita as part of Love and Hero. She sent a ticket like she promised, but you need to drum up some courage to go to a bunch of teams. Yeah, that might be the main dude's up in front, man. 
Tawako Yasuga is still working as a fortune teller in Ginza. Apparently she believes I have spiritual powers or something. She keeps sending customers with spirit problems to the mansion. I wish she'd stop. Madoka Hiro spends her days working as a researcher, always revisiting the shelter. Her and Banjo squabble a lot, but I wish she'd stop complaining to me about it. <coughs> Shuji Diamond seems to be doing better now, like a weight's been lifted off his chest. He's in the process of convincing officials to publicize the shelter and build a memorial for it. Manchi Ito has returned to his beloved underground shelter. He stops by the mansion sometimes, from the place of the Senate. Of course, he comes to beg me for food. <clears throat> cool. A nice little roll call. Now then, <coughs> I finish my break and return to the workbench in the corner of the room. <coughs> Mary! Over the past two months, Mary has managed to repair herself. Her power hasn't completely come back yet, but she's still extremely frightening. And Jibutsu alone would be enough to continue sealing her powers. In years to come, must repair extra spiritual measures. It's taking a long time to get those ready. I finally, but today finally finished. Hmm? Once everything is complete, I'll replace the Nunji Butsu inside Mary. Finally, it's over. I pick Mary up, put her in a wooden box. Five years. It's all started when I opened the lid of this box. Mary stubs up. Stares up at me from the depths of the box. I have no idea if she's aware of what's happening right now. But there's no doubt she'll regain her powers when the Nenjibutsu wears out decades from now. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this cursed doll before that happens. Until that day... You need to stay asleep, Mary. Ooh, good Mary trophy obtained. Death mark and... Hell yeah. <clears throat> now, credits? Ooh, yes. Oh, this looks weird. Alright, but, yeah. That is Deathmark. However, from what I know, ever since the localization of uh, this game for North America, and I think Europe as well. This an extra six chapter has been released while for the PS Vita version it's it's released but you have to pay pay extra money. And I know that the game the Vita game is ten dollars less than the PS4 versions and I think the Xbox don't include that. But yeah it's not over yet for this season. I'm going to be going over chapter 6, and after that's done, that's when this series will end. So yeah, that's nice, I'll, I'll just see if there's anything new, but if there's not, I'll leave it off in the end. So, yeah, let me just say this, thank you all for watching, leave a like if you this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And I shall see you in our episode you watch next, this channel, man. Peace. I think the fights are actually starting to end. Hmm. That's not, those are actually short credits. Whew. <clears throat> Gallery's been added, and I can view game illustrations. Ooh, nice. Automatically saved. All right. Uh. Mansion. Being spooky again. And now, a lot of times passed. Oh. Did this already bring me to chapter six?
you know what? I think this is already in chapter 6, so I'll end off prematurely. Yeah, peace.